We're joined by a man who, well, has been coaching for most of his adult, actually about all of his adult life, and he spent the past 16 years as the defensive coordinator for Ohio State and now uh, recent, recently retired. Jim Haycock joins us here on the Subway Fresh Take Hotline on the fan. And, Jim, good evening. Hey, thanks for uh, taking the time with us. Good evening. Yeah, it's uh, good to be here. Yeah, and, you know, we talked early, and you said this is something that you are thinking about for a while, and you kind of decided for a while, but now news kind of came out today. I know you spoke with uh, uh, Dave Biddle from Bucknuts.com earlier today, and now news kind of came out. I, I guess I missed the hour-long TV special on ESPN hosted by Jim Gray there. So, But, uh, but uh, you know, you decided to retire. Kind of what, what went behind it, the decision for you to to hang up the headsets? Oh, well, it, it probably started, you know, uh, after the bowl game in January. I, you know, I was kind of debating, you know, whether to, you know, move on in coaching or, or uh, you know, hang up the whistle and, and um, you know, do something else. And, you know, about February, I, I came to the conclusion that the timing was right and, you know, I'd had 41 good years in coaching and 16 great years here at Ohio State. And, and um, you know, my family's kind of been following me around the country, do, you know, why I did what I wanted to do and uh, do what I enjoyed doing. And I feel like it's time for me to give back a little bit. And I don't know, I just uh, wasn't ready to uh, pick up and move again and, and uh, just thought that this was a good time to, to hang up the whistle and, and um, you know, make another chapter. So was this something you you, you mentioned uh, after the bowl game? Were there thoughts you know, going through your mind of maybe hanging it up soon? Or, you know, last season? I mean, I mean, look, the last year was tumultuous. You know, for especially for you as a coach. I mean, you're a longtime assistant under Jim Trussell. You you know, you known him for years and years. He's out of the picture, and it was very, you know, it wasn't the best of times. Let's say over at the Woody Hayes last year. You know, it was, it was pretty hectic. Did, did some of that maybe kind of play in a factor where you to where at least it started going in your mind where you know what, I'm not sure how much longer I could really do this? Uh, you know what, I, I really don't think it did. I, You know, I really uh, didn't uh, have any thoughts of, of retiring at that time. And, you know, we were pretty locked into what we were trying to accomplish and, you know, working with the staff. And, and uh, But, um, you know, I think after the bowl game, I had a chance to, you know, sit down and, and think things out a little bit and, and uh, kind of analyze everything and, and uh, thought about uh, – considered some job offers and, and uh, just didn't uh, get excited about, um, you know, making another move. So I uh, decided uh, in February that uh, that was going to be it. And, and so I'm enjoying life right now. Jim Haycock, former Ohio State defensive coordinator and recently retired here, joining us on a Subway Fresh Take Hotline on the Buckeye Show, 97.1 The Fan. All right, Jim, you you were known as one of the top defensive assistants in the country you know, you won the Frank Broyles National Assistant Coach of the Year Award back in 2007. I mean, the Silver Bullets were really, really good under you. Uh, is there, and I guess now that you're stepped away from it a little bit to where, is there a particular team or maybe a p- p- particular defensive unit that really, I don't know, maybe holds a, a spe- more of a special place in your heart than others? Well, I, you know, I really don't think so. I think every one of them had, you know, was unique and, you know, everyone was a little bit different. I think, uh, you know, probably, you know, two games that stand out and probably, uh, you know, I thought uh, performance wise, I thought the two Rose Bowls, you know, I'm pretty traditional in, in uh, you know, uh, Big Ten and the Rose Bowl. And I think going to those two games and having the opportunity to win those two games, I think we're, you know, those two uh, teams were special and, and of course, the national championship team, you know, came out of nowhere, and and we were able to, you know, beat Miami, and you know that was a, you know, a big game. I think all the, the wins against Michigan, I think just, you know, every time you had a chance, we had a little bit of a run there at the end, and you know those were all special. But as far as one team, I, you know, I don't, I don't think there is one team. I think each one was unique, and each one had a group of individuals that were a little bit different, and you know, I, I really um, enjoyed working with all of them. And Jim, I know you know as a coach with players. I mean, they're like kids. You don't have a favorite, but I know that I'm sure there's a lot of players that you've co- you've coached a lot of very very talented defensive players over the years. Some have gone on to outstanding careers in the NFL. Uh, who are some of the players that really stand out to where, you know, or maybe I guess maybe a guy that who you really molded. I and mean, there's some guys who come in, they're four or five star recruits, and there's some guys who quote-unquote, under the recruiting radar, but yet they turn out to be really special, whether it's performance on the field, their work ethic, how they practice, where they are in the class and whatever. I mean, who are some of the players that really, you know, if I asked you about some players who stand out in your mind over the years that you've coached, and not necessarily saying a favor, but some guys who really stood out, who are some of those guys that would come to mind for you? 
Oh, you know, yeah, it's hard to it's hard to pick out any one or two or three guys that you know just you know really stand out. Like I say, each year there was a, a new group, and a you know, I mean, even uh, you know, even uh, you know, most recently, uh, you know, the group last year. But um, you know, Will Smith was always uh, you know a guy that uh, you know came out of Buffalo and and uh, didn't have a you know a great great uh, background lived with his grandmother and and uh, came to Ohio State and to see him do what he's done and stay in touch with him, uh, you know, as he's going, you know, down New Orleans and, and, uh, and, you know, of course, Cameron Hayward, you know, was a, you know, a, a neat guy and a, you know, a hard worker and a guy that you didn't have to push. I mean, he was, you know, probably harder on himself than anybody else could be on him, but, uh, but it, it, the list goes on, and on. you know, I could uh, go forever talking about those guys and, and, uh, you know, I try and stay in touch with as many as I can and, and uh, that's really what it was all about. That's 16 years and uh, work with a lot of great, great people. Former Ohio State defensive coordinator Jim Haycock joining us here on the Subway Fresh Take Hotline on 97.1 The Fan. And, yeah, you spent the last 16 years at Ohio State. Before that, a lot of people may not remember you. You spent time at Illinois State, Washington, Bowling Green, Muskingum. Uh, you've been a, you were a coach for 41 years. The game has changed a lot over that time. What do you think is probably the biggest change that you've seen in not just the game of football, but in, in college football over that time since when you first got into coaching compared to now as you leave it? Well, probably, you know, the the uh, different, I guess, you know, I guess probably the thing that stands out is the different offenses that I saw, not necessarily from the start to the end, but throughout, you know, it went from, you know, the wishbone and the, the veer option and, you know, option football and then into – you know, a power eye football and, and then obviously, you know, into the spread and, you know, over the last four or five years. And, and so you've seen all different, all different things there. I think that, I don't know that the players change that much. I think they're probably asked to do more now. I think, uh, you know, early on, I, you know, I don't know that they did all the, the um, off season programs and the things that our, our kids are asked to do now. Uh, I think these guys are special now. They, they go year round. they, they, um, you know, they have they have tutoring. They have, uh, um, you know, mentors. They they have uh, weightlifting, and you know, it's a it's a long day for these guys. And I just admire, you know, and, and I really admire what they do and and how they budget their time and and uh, give the effort they do for Ohio State. Well, Jim, congratulations on your retirement. Congratulations on a fantastic forty-one year coaching career. Uh, the last sixteen at Ohio State. Uh, you were one of the classiest, most polite, one of the best people for, for me, I could personally say, to cover at Ohio State and, uh, and all coaches in general. So uh, thank you for everything that you've done, and thank you for just being candid with us uh, over the years and, and being classy. And, and, again, congratulations on an outstanding career. Enjoy retirement. Enjoy time with your family. And, uh, well, hey, good luck with your golf game, too. <laughs> yeah, I need more than luck on that. But uh, thanks a lot. I really appreciate that, and uh, good talking to you. All right, Jim. Thank you.